In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on a really cool pencil trick that I learned online for getting a good violin bow hold. Stick around to the end of the video, you don't want to miss this. Hi there, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. Thanks so much for coming across this YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. It really means the world to me and uh, it helps me create more content for you. Now, as any violinist does, um, we're all trying to figure out uh, some creative ways on how to get our students engaged online. And uh, I found this uh, pencil trick in the Violin Guild. I uh, can't remember who, uh, who showed the pictures in the Violin Guild on Facebook. However, um, it's a really cool uh, violin group. I totally recommend it. Um, a lot of teachers, pedagogues are in that group and they share ideas and they bounce ideas off each other. So I recommend going the, over there. I'll provide a link in the in the description below so that way you can click on it and join it if you haven't done so already. So this pencil trick again is uh, something that I found in this group but I also uh, kind of revisited this pencil trick because I actually learned this a couple of years ago and I just reminded myself of this pencil trick and I'm like well I should be doing this more often so why not make a video of it. So to, in today's video you're only going to need a pencil and I love having a, a pencil as a, a perfect example for how to hold a bow because I'm going to get my bow right over here. If you see the the circumference of the wood on the top of the bow, it's very similar to a pencil. So if you can get the basic hold on the pencil down, then you're going to have a lot more success of doing that on the bow as well, especially if you're a beginner student and you're trying to learn how to hold a violin bow. First things first, I want you to take your right hand and I want you to notice these lines over here on your first finger, your second finger, and your third finger. And we're going to ignore the pinky and the thumb in the time being because this is where a lot of the balance is going to happen with the pencils. So we're going to essentially hold the bow this way, but we're actually going to hold it. I'm actually going to stand up for this and you're going to see that the pencil is covering the, the first lines of my finger right over here. It's gonna look something like this. And then the pinky is gonna be on the pinky tip as you see right here. And lastly, this thumb is gonna go and hover over the second finger right over here. And then if all goes well, all your fingers are curved and bent. And all you gotta do is just switch it over and you have a nice, beautiful bow grip. A common issue with a beginner violinist is that they don't know how to really make sense of this of this thumb because what they'll do is that they'll want to have the thumb flat but as you notice if I create my my thumb pad flat and the and the knuckle goes straight to the ground then my entire bow grip actually um, changes and it's more more Russian and your pinky gets straight and all your fingers get a lot straighter and the the problem with this of course is that you build tension in your in the palm of your hand and that tension will build up over time and we definitely don't want that so when we have established this bow grip um, you can rewind it if you you know rewind it and to make sure that you get the bow grip really well I tend to teach my students that we want the side of the thumb touching the bow. So that way you might see, sorry, camera shake. As you may know in the Suzuki books, the beginning of the book is that there's a there's many pictures of how to hold a violin bow and you actually go with the bunny ears. You know, the bunny ears is a very good example. But this can work and sometimes it may not work because sometimes the students will still do this and the, the knuckles will actually be really, really pronated. So you want these two finger, the thumb and the second finger, to really be connected and you have this little circle right over here. And if all goes well, you should be able to have like a nice circular motion and you don't want uh, what we call like an alligator face or a duck face. We definitely don't want that. We want nice curvy fingers over here. And again, the, the thumb, the knuckle, if anything, should be facing outward. It should be facing this way. It shouldn't be going to the ground because therefore you'll switch the entire shape of the hand. Make sure that all the fingers are curvy because this will allow for a lot of flexibility when you're going up and down the bow. Um, it's very difficult to do as a beginner, but if you get the bow hold right from the very beginning, 
then once you start getting into more advanced pieces in the Suzuki books, or if you decide to kind of branch out outside of the Suzuki books, you will, you will be able to have a little bit more fluidity in the bow. And there you have it. That's my really quick tip on how to hold a violin bow using just a pencil and how to get the correct bow hold. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber, it would mean the world if you subscribed, hit the bell notifications. That way you'll get notified when new videos come out. And it also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.